We have to be cautious in general about how markets are perceiving the macroeconomic and the monetary environment. If we look at the latest estimates of the IMF, it is true that it has upgraded global growth based on the analysis of a level of inflation that is cooling down a little bit and the idea that commodities are obviously going to be a smaller drag on the global economy. The reopening of China is critical. However, we need to be also extremely prudent because even with those revisions, global growth is going to be more or less the same as in 2008. It's going to continue to show that the BRICS, the emerging market leading economies, are going to continue to be very, very weak even with these upgrades. We also need to be aware of monetary imbalances and the risk of being too dovish about the monetary policy. A lot of people are assuming that interest rates are going to come down in the second part of the year. And that is very, very dangerous because uh, it seems like we're back in August 2022 where there is way too much risk on appetite and too little analysis of the risks and the very little growth that we have in front of us.